you got me. Can you hear me? I think we're okay. Welcome, everybody, to the South Union Township Sports Network. The South Union Township Sports Network, in cooperation with Atlantic Broadband and the South Union Town Township Supervisors, welcomes you to the South Union Township Rec Center. Tonight, via live stream, we have two elementary semifinal playoff games in the third and fourth grade division. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry DuPay, and we welcome you aboard for this evening's two semifinal games. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. I'm Tony Hanola with Jerry DuPay, and we will be back with the opening tip of the first game right after these messages. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America, or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppe and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Ready for the opening tip-off here in Game 1 of our semifinal playoff games. It's the Navy Blue team, the third seed, playing the number two seed, the black team. With the tip, Cole Dempsey for the blue team. Here's Enslin, shot, rebounded, thrown up there by Landon Bysak, and he's going to draw a foul. It's going to be out of bounds off of the black team. Ball down in the corner to Enslin, shot up short. Coming out of there with the rebound, Stuart Johnson. We'll set the lineups for you here. For the black team, it's Elijah Harrington, Aiden Walls. Here's Stuart Johnson on the move, and he's going to pick up a foul. So let's go through it real quick. Number two is Elijah Harrington. Number three, Isaac Hanlon. Four, Aiden Walls. Number six is Samuel Johnson. Number seven, Stuart Johnson. We'll get to the blue roster here in a minute. Here's Hanlon being guarded closely here by Dempsey. Johnson picks up the loose ball, shot up. Long rebound to Kenny Meadows. Meadows brings it up, gets it to Dempsey, who brings it across the timeline. Dempsey goes to his left hand, and he's going to get tripped. So we're going to have a foul. So for the blue team, let's set their lineup. It's going to be number one, Landon Bysak. Number three, Jackson Enslin. Four, Cole Dempsey. Five, Kinley Herman. And seven, Kenneth Meadows. So there's a shot that was blocked. 
Gets it out to Dempsey. Dempsey with the floater in the lane, and it's good. Cole Dempsey, the first paid basket this game by either team. And the Navy Blue team takes a quick 2-0 lead. The winner of this game will face the winner of the next game between the yellow and the red team on Monday night for the championship of the third and fourth grade division. Here's Johnson being guarded by Hanlon. Shot up, and we're going to get a foul. And that foul is going to be on Jackson Enslin. So Stuart Johnson to the line. Johnson, a good free throw shooter. Misses the first. We saw him here on December the 8th. He ended up with 19 points in his team's win against the green team. And misses both. And here comes Jackson Enslin. Tries to get it down low to Herman. Herman's going to get fouled. Nice pass into Kinley Herman, who was posted up in the lane. She's going to get fouled, and she's going to go to the foul line. So Herman trying to tack on to this 2 to nothing lead for the Navy blue team. So here's Kinley's first attempt. It's up and just no good. She's going to get another try. Kinley eyes it up, takes a shot, and can't get it to go. Rebound out of there. Nice job by Enslin to get the offensive rebound. And Cole Dempsey, he's got four, and his team now leads four to nothing over the black team. We're going to have a timeout, and we are. So a quick timeout by the black team with the Navy blue team leading four to nothing. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream Tonight's elementary semifinal games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law. South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. And Zebley Mahalovin White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. So the black team... Trying to cut into this 4-0 deficit. Cole Dempsey with both made baskets for the Navy Blue team. His grandfather on the bench. The head coach. Nice move there by Johnson. Johnson goes up a little too strong. Samuel Johnson rebound. And Samuel Johnson with the putback. And his team's on the board. Got a 4-2 score. Near steal there by Harrington. Enslin makes a move to the hoop. Throws it up, no good. Bysak fighting for the rebound. Coming out of there, looks like Enslin. There's Dempsey with the loose ball. He's going to take it to the left and up and good. Cole Dempsey on fire here in this first half. He's got six points. And his team leads 6-2, to two, 840 to go here first half. Here comes Isaac Hanlon checking the bench, getting instructions. And he's going to run the point. Picked up there by Dempsey. A nice move there by Hanlon to get around everybody. Gets it back to Stewart Johnson. Johnson at the foul line. He's double teamed. Tries to get it down in the corner, and that ball is going to be thrown away. So nice defense there by the Navy Blue team. And here comes Cole Dempsey. He's got all six for the Navy Blue team so far. Nice pass to Kinley Herman down low. Herman throws it in the corner, but it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Elijah Harrington with good hands to knock that ball out of bounds. And there's Meadows to Enslin. Enslin, they're going to call a travel. Enslin went up to catch that pass and just got a little off balance. So they're going to call a travel, and it's going to be a turnover. Our referees, Mr. Pat Lyon and Mr. Harry Kaufman on the whistle tonight. Stewart Johnson down the lane, flip shot underneath. And Stewart Johnson able to get the scoop shot to go. So now the lead at 6-4. to four. Dempsey looking to shape the good defense here by Isaac Hanlon. Works off the screen by Kinley Herman. Looking for help. 
Nobody there. Herman near steal by Samuel Johnson. Dempsey tried to go in the lane, and he's going to get a foul. He was fouled there by Samuel Johnson on the reach. That's going to be on the floor. So the Navy Blue team to take it out underneath their basket. Kenny Meadows is going to trigger it in. Meadows over to Enslin. Enslin, long shot. It was a three-point attempt, actually. And he's able to get his own long rebound. Going to drive to the right side. No good. Dempsey with the rebound. Gets it back to Enslin. Enslin with another shot. No good. Meadows with the offensive rebound. They're going to call a double dribble. Good sequence there by the Navy Blue team. Able to grab a couple offensive rebounds. But just couldn't put the ball in the basket. And they still hold a 6-4 lead. We're at 6.20 to go here first half in this semifinal game. Johnson picked up there by Enslin. Johnson, jumper off the bank, and it goes. So now Stuart Johnson starting to heat up. He's got four, and we're tied up at six. Six minutes to go, first half. Cole Dempsey stolen away there by Samuel Johnson. Johnson picked up there by Enslin, and Enslin's going to make the steal on the other side. And we're going to have a jump ball. We have a timeout here. Isaac Hanlon with a little equipment repair. So we're going to have the black team taking the ball out of bounds underneath their own hoop. It's going to be Hanlon. Hanlon to Johnson, just over the outstretched hand to Enslin. Front rims it. And rebound out of there by Kenneth Meadows. Meadows going to Get it back to Cole Dempsey. Dempsey thought about throwing it down to Kenley Herman. Shot in and out for Dempsey and rebound Herman. She can't get it to go, and Stuart Johnson comes out of the pack with the rebound. We're going to have a good one here. Tied up at six. Aiden Walls with the shot. No good. Samuel Johnson again with the offensive rebound. Puts it back up. He can't get it to go, but he was fouled. So Samuel Johnson doing a fine job on the offensive boards for this black team. Picked up the offensive rebound, put it back up, and he's going to go to the foul line. Johnson with two points on the day, looking to add to his total. So Mr. Harry Kaufman arranging everybody in the lane. Here's Johnson's first attempt. Up, ooh, back rimmed it. So Johnson's got another attempt. He's got a chance to put his team ahead for the first time in this game. Shot up and good. So Samuel Johnson with three. And his team takes its first lead of the game, 7-6. to six. 4.50 to go here first half. Enslin nearly stolen by Johnson. And again, Samuel Johnson with the rebound. He's coming on strong underneath the hoop. Stewart Johnson thought about getting it to Walls, but... All of a sudden was closed up. Samuel Johnson again. Samuel Johnson, what a game. He's got five, and his team now with a 9-6 to six lead after being down 4 to nothing. Here's Dempsey looking to shake a defender, trying to work off a screen there. Enslin thought about the three, but good defense there by Hanlon. We're going to have another double dribble. Good defense there by Isaac Hanlon. And he's done that all year long for this black team. He's been very good on defense for them. Here's Stuart Johnson, picks his dribble up. Gets it to Walls. Walls thought about the three, and he's going to get called for the shuffle of his feet. Good defense there. Enslin stepped in, forced Walls to think about it twice before he took the shot. So now we're going to have a... Timeout, and we are. So a timeout with 3.43 to go here in this first half. It's the black team nine and the Navy blue team six. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouls Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. 
Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, and Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorney, Zeb Lee Mulholland White. So after taking a quick 4 to nothing lead, the Navy Blue team now trails 9 to 6, 343 to go here, first half. And it's been the Johnson, Johnson and Johnson here tonight for the black team. Samuel Johnson with a team high five, Stuart Johnson with four. Cole Dempsey with all six for the Navy Blue team. And here's Enslin driving, stopping baseline, just off the side of the banking board. And here comes Stuart Johnson. He's picked up there by Dempsey, and it's going to be a travel. Stuart Johnson is going to pull up for the three. But Cole Dempsey, nice job defensively. And there's Meadows getting it into Dempsey. Dempsey looks back at Coach Trafficani. He's going to take it to the left side. Up, no good. And Aiden Walls pulls it down, but Dempsey ties him up for the jump ball, so it's going to stay with the Navy Blue team. I thought we had a mistake there, but it is Navy Blue ball on the possession arrow. Meadows gets it into Enslin. It's going to be off of his fingertips and go back to the black team. So the black team on a little bit of a run here. We're down to 2.30 to go first half. Stuart Johnson taking his time. Picked up immediately by Enslin at the half court line. Here's Johnson, and he's going to get fouled again. So that foul is going to be on Kenneth Meadows. And Samuel Johnson goes back to the line. Johnson with five here tonight. He's one for two from the line. And he's trying to put his team in double digits. And his first shot does. Johnson now two for three. He's got six. His team with a four-point lead, 10 to six. Here's his second attempt. Shot up and just front rim rebound there by Enslin. So Enslin's going to run the point here now. Picked up by Hanlon. Gets it to Cole Dempsey. Dempsey being double teamed. Enslin looking for some room. Tries to get it to Kinley Herman. It's going to be stolen there by Samuel Johnson. Johnson throws it down court. And Elijah Harrington comes up with the loose ball. Aiden Walls nearly stolen by Dempsey. But here comes Stuart Johnson. With a head of steam, no good. Walls with the offensive rebound. And we're going to have a travel. Aiden Walls with a beautiful offensive rebound, but just shuffled his feet there a little bit, trying to get some position. So a minute and a half to go, and Samuel Johnson's going to pick up the foul. Dempsey trying to beat the field down the court. Gets it up to Kinley Herman. Herman wide open. Shot up, no good. And rebound there, Stuart Johnson. We're going to have another timeout by the black team. So with 119 to go, it's the black team 10 and the Navy blue team 6 in this first half of action. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis & Davis, attorneys at law. South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. And Zeb Lee Mulholland White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So the black team, after calling the timeout, looking to extend this four-point lead. We're down to a minute 13 to go first half. Nice screen there by Hanlon. Here comes Johnson trying to work off of that screen. Gets a little space, shoots it, can't get it to go. Kinley Herman with the rebound. Herman picked up there, and there's a steal by Hanlon. Hanlon with the shot, no good. Walls with the rebound. He's going to go up, and there they're going to call a travel. Good defense there by Cole Dempsey. Aiden Walls trying to shake Dempsey, but just couldn't do it, and he got called for the travel. So here comes Dempsey. Gets it across the timeline. We're under a minute to go. Dempsey. He's going to pick up the foul. Stuart Johnson, as he tried to block that shot, fouled Cole Dempsey, and that's going to send Cole to the foul line. Cole with six already. 
42.7 seconds to go here. First half of the semifinal game. Shot up and nothing but net. Cole Dempsey now with all seven of his team's points. Shot up, back rimmed it. Offensive rebound out of there by Dempsey. Can't get it to go. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. I think it's going to be off Stuart Johnson, and it is. So there's Meadows getting it into Dempsey. Throws it up, no good. And Samuel Johnson with another rebound. And they're going to call double dribbles. So Samuel Johnson with a turnover. And yet again, another rebound for Samuel Johnson. He's just cleaning the glass under there for this black team. Here's Dempsey. 25 seconds to go, first half. Gets it to Kenny Meadows. Stolen away by Hanlon. Hanlon with numbers. Tries a three. Not exactly sure what that was. He had some help on the other side. But just tried to take that three. So 13.3 seconds to go. The Navy Blue team trying to score here before the half. Possibly cut it to a one-point game. Shot up, no good. Rebound Hanlon, and he's going to run the clock out. So after the first half of play, it's the black team 10, the Navy Blue team 7. Let's go over your first half numbers. For the black team, they were led by Samuel Johnson, who had six. Stuart Johnson had the other four for their total of 10. They were two for five from the foul line in that first half. For the Navy Blue team, all seven of those points were scored by Cole Dempsey, and their teams were one for four from the foul line in that first half. So we'll be back after these messages for the second half action on the South Union Township Sports Network. is not something that anyone wants to do. Good people sometimes run into hard times, and they need help. Hi, I'm Dan White with the law offices of Zebley, Mahalib, and White, and I'm here to help. If you're faced with insurmountable debt and are out of options and you need help, give our office a call today. Allow us to help you understand your rights and options under the law. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road, and if you're struggling with debt, it very well could be a new beginning. So stop worrying and take action. Give our office a call today at 724-439-9200 or click on zeblaw.com for more information. Zebley, Mahalib, and White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Zebley, Mahalib, and White. It's gonna be all, it's gonna be all right. Welcome back to the South Union Township Rec Center. We're getting ready for second half action here. The black team with a three-point lead, 10-7. to seven. As we start the second half, Johnson with the drive. A little too strong. Aiden Wall is going to get called for the walk again. Able to pull down another offensive rebound, but just tried to create some space and ended up turning the ball over. Both of these teams with only five players tonight. There's a nice pass down to Bysak. No good. Enslin comes out of there. He's trapped in the corner by Hanlon, and they're going to be double dribbles again. Good job there by Isaac Hanlon defensively. Just trapped Jackson Enslin in the corner. And really had no place to go. Didn't have any help. And he got called for the double dribble. So here comes Stuart Johnson. Near walk there. And that will be a walk. So again, another turnover for the black team. As we said, this is semifinal action in the third and fourth grade division. Dempsey. Cutting down the lane. Nice little spin move. Nice defense there by Hanlon again with the block. And Stuart Johnson going to try to drive on Enslin. Nice spin move there. Shot front rimmed. Fought for. And here comes Hanlon with the rebound. Gets it back to Stuart Johnson. Johnson again driving. Floater short. Rebound out of there again. Samuel Johnson. Here's Elijah Harrington. Shot up. Just off the rim, Stuart Johnson again with the rebound. And Stuart Johnson with the first two points of this half. 
He's got six. Samuel Johnson's got six, and they've got 12. There was a pass down to Kinley Herman, and she just couldn't handle it. Might have been tipped away. So now the black team out to their largest lead of the night, 12 to 7. 9.55 to go here, second half. Johnson taking his time, just walking up the court. Trying to drive to the right. Shot up, no good. Rebound there, Harrington, no good. And Jackson Enslin going to corral that rebound and wrap it up. Wait for everybody to start going down the other way. Gets it to Dempsey. Dempsey nearly poked away by Hanlon. Dempsey goes to the left side. Spin move. It's going to get poked out of bounds there by Hanlon. So the Navy Blue team taking the ball out of bounds. Meadows looking for help. There's a ball. Dempsey's trying to drive baseline. He's doubled up. Hanlon with the steal. Now Stewart Johnson with the steal. Enslin trying to run him down. Nice ball fake. Up and good. Stewart Johnson now with a game high eight. And they have doubled up the Navy Blue team 14 to 7. Dempsey trying to drive the lane. Shot up. Can't get it to go, but he was fouled. They're going to call that foul on Stewart Johnson. It's going to send Cole Dempsey to the foul line. Dempsey, all seven of the points so far here for the Navy Blue team. He's one for two tonight from the line. Here's his first attempt up and good. Cole Dempsey with the first point of the second half for this Navy Blue team. As they try to get back into it, they trail by six. Second shot, no good. Enslin, offensive rebound, and we're going to have a tie-up. So the Navy Blue team on the possession arrow. Going to trigger it in under their own basket. There's Stuart Johnson. Looks like Enslin might have caught a finger there. Gets it to Samuel Johnson, and here comes Kenneth Meadows. Meadows going to get it to Dempsey. Dempsey down to Enslin. <laughs> and Enslin... <laughs> With the shot, no good. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Navy Blue team. A special guest, Coach Hogger in the house, checking out the action of these third and fourth graders. So there's Stuart Johnson down to Samuel Johnson. Nice catch, shot up, short. Elijah Harrington with the rebound, tries to get it back out to Johnson. And here comes Cole Dempsey, and no, we're going to have another tie-up. That possession arrow is going to stay with the black team. They lead 14 to 8. Here comes Isaac Hanlon. Trying to get it to Stuart Johnson, and he does. Johnson with the move. Up, no good. Aiden Walls offensive rebound, no good. And the rebound comes out to Kenneth Meadows, who gets it to Dempsey. He's going to try to go baseline. Nice pass there to Herman. No good. Stuart Johnson going to slow this action down a little bit. Looking to get it up. Ball's going to be too high, and it's going to bounce over walls. And here comes Cole Dempsey the other way. Dempsey's going to pick up the foul. Isaac Hanlon with the reach. So Cole Dempsey draws the foul. Meadows looking to get it in. Gets it back court to Dempsey. Dempsey down to Kinley Herman. Herman thought about it, but good defense there by Walls and Hanlon. Here's Dempsey, got a little space, up and good. Cole Dempsey, he's got all 10 of the Navy Blue team points. His team now trails by four, 14 to 10. We're under six and a half to go in this first contest of the night. It'll be the yellow and the red team facing off in our second game. Stewart Johnson loses the handle. That's Hanlon, and he's going to be tied up. So Enslin and Hanlon battling underneath, and it's going to go to the Navy Blue team. So here comes Cole Dempsey. And again, looking wide open, Kinley Herman. Herman up, no good. And rebound there, Hanlon. Hanlon's going to slow it down. He decides to speed it up now. He's going to get fouled there. Foul's going to be on 
Jackson Enslin. 540 to go here. We've got a good one. 14 to 10. Black team over the Navy Blue team. And there's a nice steal there. Dempsey just stepping into passing lane. He's going to get fouled. Stuart Johnson doesn't agree with that call, but kind of came across the arm of Dempsey. Nice job by Dempsey, as we said, to step into passing lane there, make the steal. So Dempsey back to the line. He's two for four tonight. As we said, has all ten points for this Navy Blue team. Coach Dan Trafficani going to call a timeout, so we'll take one as well. 5.28 to go here in the second half of action. It's the black team 14, the Navy Blue team 10. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law. South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Schiffbar, Bob Schiffbar, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown. And Zeb Lee Mahalov and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. Hard to believe I made a mistake on that, Jerry, as many times as I've read that. I, I think I say that in my sleep. So here comes Cole Dempsey with his first attempt, and he's trying to cut this lead down to two. His team trailing now 14 to 10. And Cole looking to pick up his 11th and 12th point. That ball just in and out. So Dempsey with another try. Shot up and back rimmed it. Rebound out of there. Aiden Walls. Walls is going to bring it up, and then he's going to get it to Hanlon. Across the timeline, Isaac Hanlon. Near steal by Dempsey on the poke. That ball's tossed away, and here comes Cole Dempsey with the loose ball. Dempsey nearly traveled. Nice defense there, and there it is going to be a travel. Good defense again. Isaac Hanlon, as we said, a great defensive player for this black team. He's had a great year. He's caused a number of turnovers and done a great job for them. So Stuart Johnson coming the other way. He's got all four points for his black team in the second half. Nice spin move, and he's going to get called for the travel. Johnson saying, I didn't shuffle, but he actually did. Move that pivot foot. Third and fourth grade. We've got a good one. Dempsey with the floater in the lane. Just short. Enslin fighting for that offensive rebound. And we're going to have another tie-up. So now that ball is going to go out to the black team. Stuart Johnson crosses the timeline with exactly four minutes to go here in this game. Johnson foul line extended, shot up, no good. And this could be an opportunity for the Navy Blue team, but Hanlon hustles back and picks it up. So another possession by the black team. Near steal by Cole Dempsey, and there's a steal there by Enslin. And that tie up, and it's going to go to the Navy Blue team on the possession arrow. So 3.30 to go here. And the Navy Blue team trying to cut into this four-point lead, trying to advance to the championship game. Dempsey right down the lane and up and good. Cole Dempsey with all 12 of his team's points. And now we've got a one-possession game. 3.10 to go. Stuart Johnson. Picked up there by Dempsey. Hanlon trying to set the screen. Johnson no good. Samuel Johnson with another rebound. And that's going to be stolen away. So Enslin with the steal. And he's going to draw the foul on Samuel Johnson. So now here comes the Navy Blue team. And they're trying to tie this and up. As we said, the winner goes to the championship game Monday night against the winner of the next game between the red and the yellow team. Samuel Johnson with the rebound of that Enslin miss. Stewart Johnson trying to drive left. No good. Kinley Herman with the rebound. Kinley 
gets it to Enslin. Enslin going to get called for double dribbles. So Enslin just a little too quick. We're closing in on 2.10 to go here. And it's a two-point game. Stuart Johnson going to walk it across. And don't blame him. His team's got a two-point lead right now. Two minutes even to go. Johnson guarded closely by Dempsey. Floater up and good. Stuart Johnson now in double figures with 10. Six of those coming in the second half. So a minute 40 to go. Full court pressure being shown by the black team. And there's a steal. Samuel Johnson from the foul line. Up, no good. Cole Dempsey with the rebound. We're a minute and a half to go. Dempsey looking to make something happen. His team trails by four. Shot up. Back rimmed. Stewart Johnson rebound. Dempsey tried to make the steal. And a nice pass there. Up to Samuel Johnson. Johnson up and good. So that could be the dagger. Six points. We've got a minute to go. And there's a foul there by Isaac Hanlon. So Samuel Johnson and Stewart Johnson. It's the Johnson and Johnson show here tonight. Stewart Johnson with 10. Samuel Johnson with eight. And their team up now. 59 seconds to go in this contest, and they've got a six-point lead, 18 to 12. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary playoff championships. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So let's see if the Navy Blue team can do anything here. They trail by six. One click under a minute, 59 seconds to go. And the black team showing pressure. And that's going to be a steal by Harrington. And that timeout, so we're going to take a timeout too on black team. And a nice call there and a nice steal by Elijah Harrington. So we'll run through these numbers for you here. 56.1 seconds to go. The black team with 18. The Navy blue team with 12. So we said Stuart Johnson with 10 points here tonight. He scored four in the first half, six in his second half. Samuel Johnson, he scored six in the first half, two in the second for his total of eight. For the Navy Blue team, it's been all Cole Dempsey. Dempsey, seven in the first half, five in the second half. And he's going to have to try to pick up six more points here to get his team back into this contest. They trail by six, 18 to 12 with 56 seconds to go. And the black team taking it out after the nice steal there by Elijah Harrington. That's going to be a foul by... Cole Dempsey. So we're not in a one-on-one -on -one yet. It's actually a pretty good foul by Dempsey. There's a pass to Stuart Johnson. Dempsey trying to make a steal. Johnson going to dribble it out there, and they're going to pick up another foul on Cole. And still not in a one-on-one -on -one yet. So here's Isaac Hanlon down to Elijah Harrington. Back to Stuart Johnson. A steal there by Enslin, but no, Johnson comes away with it. Shot up, no good. Kinley Herman out of there with the ball for the Navy Blue team. And here comes Cole Dempsey with a head of steam. He's going to take it straight to the hoop, no doubt. Floater, good. So Dempsey, seven points in both halves. Dempsey looking to get the steal and the loose ball. And we're going to have a timeout called again by the black team. 17.6 seconds to go. And the lead at four, 18 to 14. As we said, the winner takes on the winner of next game, the yellow and the red team. That winner, they'll face off on Monday, December 20, 20th for the championship in the third and fourth grade division. 
As we said, we'll have a second one here tonight. So Danny Trafficani going over instructions with the Navy Blue team. Trying to come up with some kind of solution, maybe a foul, send somebody to the foul line. Right now, the black team, two for six for the foul line here tonight. And all of those were in the first half. But now the black team to put it in play. That's knocked away. Landon Bizey comes out of there. And here comes Dempsey. Dempsey going to hit the floater in lane over to Enslin. Shot up. No good. And rebound Stuart Johnson. And that's going to just about do it. And it will do it. Samuel Johnson with the ball. And that's it. So your final score, it's the black team 18 and the Navy blue team 14. Let's go over your final stats here. For the black team, they were led by Stuart Johnson, who had 10 points, six of those coming in the second half. Samuel Johnson had the other eight points. He had six points in the first half. They scored 10 in the first, eight in the second for their total of 18. We said they were two for six from the foul line in this contest. For the Navy Blue team, all of the scoring came by Cole Dempsey. He had seven in each half. So he said seven points in the first, seven points in the second. And they were two for six from the foul line. So the black team advances to the championship game on Monday night. And they're going to face off against the winners of the yellow and the red teams. And we'll be back with the start of that game right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Have you ever felt something stick in your chest when swallowing? This can be caused by a narrowing in your esophagus from inflammation, scar tissue, or rarely a tumor. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologist, Dr. Ruth Art Calabrese Hoppy and I specialize in the care of swallowing disorders. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialist.com. South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbar, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott would like to wish the South Union Township Youth Basketball League on having a fun and successful basketball season this year.
attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases, but most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. And there are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. Some things just go together, like bread and butter, blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. And a great match? You and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Sometimes good people make bad decisions, and they end up in trouble with the law. Hi, this is attorney Mark Mahalovin of Zebley Mahalovin White in Uniontown. If you're one of those people who found yourself facing legal issues, including minor criminal offenses, traffic, DUI, or other summary offenses, we are here to help you. Many times, these mistakes don't have to ruin your life. One bad decision does not make you a bad person. Let us help you fix the problem and move on with your life. Call our office today at 724-439-9200. Zebley Mahalovin White, your local attorneys helping local people. If you made a bad decision that has you in legal trouble, make a good decision now by allowing our firm to represent you. Zebley Mahalovin White in Uniontown and at zeblaw.com. Zebley Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network where we just had the opening tip-off of the second game. And going the other way for the number one seeded red team was Connell Stevenson. He puts his team on the board quickly. So he said the red team against the yellow team. Angelo LaRose going baseline, I'm sorry, down the lane. And he's going to get the bank shot to go. Angelo LaRose with the made basket. And we've got a 2-2 game. 11.30 to go. And we'll set the lineups here for you for the Red team, there's Stevenson, foul line, front rim. He's going to be able to track down his own long rebound there. Going to drive baseline, nice ball fake, short. And here comes Randy Taylor with the rebound. Taylor picked up there by Leland Hall. Nice stop, up and good. So Randy Taylor with a basket, and the yellow team with four quick points. They're coming in as the number four seed in this contest. So we said semifinal action. Connell Stevenson, he's going to draw a foul. Foul's going to be on, I think it's going to be called on Drew Gaster. That's going to send Connell Stevenson to the line. So Stevenson with two points already. We'll set the line up for the red team. Stevenson's first shot, and no good. Their starters tonight, number one, Aubrey Belzer. Number eight, Michael Walker. Number two, Luke Brenzi. Connell Stevenson at the line. And Leland Hall is the other starter for the red team. For the yellow team, it's Reese Haskins, Angelo LaRose, Reed Packrone, Randy Taylor, and Drew Gaster. That ball is going to be thrown away. So on the turnover, the red team with the ball. As we said, the winner of this game will 
play the winner of the last game, which was the black team, on Monday night for the championship of this third and fourth grade division. There's Leland Hall near travel. Connell Stevenson foul line extended up, no good. Saved there by Brenzy. Shot up, no good. And Randy Taylor able to come out of there and nearly stolen away. And that ball is going to be knocked around. And Connell Stevenson gathers it up. We're going to just move everybody back. Drew Gaster with the near steal. So Luke Brenzy gets it into Leland Hall. These two teams met on the 8th of December with the red team pulling out a 15-8 win. That's going to be a travel on Leland Hall. So Drew Gaster gets it into Randy Taylor. Taylor, and there's a steal by Stevenson. Stevenson, nice jump fake. Can't get it to go. Randy Taylor coming the other way. Takes it down in the corner. He's going to be doubled up near steal by Luke Brenzi, but he knocks it out of bounds. So it's going to be the yellow team putting it in play under their own basket. There's the line play. Gets it to Haskins. Haskins going to go to the top of the key. Flips it down to Packron. Packron shot blocked there by Leland Hall. And Connell Stevenson. And he's going to get called for the travel. Stevenson just... Shuffled his feet there a little bit. We've got a couple subs coming in for the red team. It's going to be Nathan Koloski, Trevin Knoll, and number three, Braden Brown. Checking out will be Walker, Brenzi, and Aubrey Belzer. Also Jackson Holland in for the yellow team. So the red team... Going to take it out of bounds. Nathan Koloski. So we said the red team, the number one seed in this division. There's Koloski baseline. Nice stop there by Gaster. Stevenson in the lane. Guarded closely by the yellow team. There's Koloski. They're going to call a double dribble. So a turnover by the red team. And they trail 4-2. 7.45 to go first half. Taylor goes to his left hand. Gets it to LaRose. LaRose back to Taylor. Taylor guarded close to the air by Stevenson and Hall. And we're going to have a timeout. So a timeout called by the yellow team. So it's 7.30 to go. It's the yellow team four and the red team two. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. So 4-2 to two lead held here by the yellow team. Their basket's made by Randy Taylor and Angelo LaRose. Connell Stevenson with the only made basket for the red team. So as we said, these two teams are looking to advance the championship game. So LaRose getting set to put it in. Near steal by Brown, Packrone. Back to LaRose, shot up, front rims it. Back run with the rebound. That's swatted away by Hall. And Hall able to corral that loose ball, and he's taking it strong the other way. Pass there from Koloski to Connell Stevenson. Stevenson up, no good. Rebound fought for Braden Brown, but they're going to say that Leland Hall had the ball and stepped on the end line. So it's going to go the other way. Jackson Holland. Going check out. Reese Haskins going to check back in. There's Taylor being barred, guarded by Koloski, and he just tosses it over the head of Reed Packron down low. So here comes the red team. 
Over to Koloski. Koloski pull-up jumper. No good. Connell Stevenson with the long rebound. He's going to take it back out. Gets it to Leland Hall. No, it's going to be stolen away there. Packrome with the steal. Tries to get it to the middle to Randy Taylor. Taylor with the shot up. No good. Fights for his own rebound, but Connell Stevenson able to come out of there with it. And Stevenson, top of the key, over to Koloski. He drives baseline up, gets the roll. So Nathan Koloski ties this game up at four. We're under six to go here, first half. And here's another near steal, and it is going to be a steal. So here's Nathan Koloski going the other way, up for the easy layup, and he's going to be fouled. Actually a pretty good foul there by Angelo LaRose not to give Koloski that easy layup. It's going to send Koloski to the line. Luke Brenzi getting ready to check in for the red team. Koloski's first attempt up and good. So Nathan Koloski picks up his third point. And they're going to give Leland Hall a breather. Luke Brenzi checking into the game. There's a second shot by Koloski, and he banks that one in. So Koloski with four. And his team takes the lead, 6-4. to four. And There's another steal by Connell Stevenson. Stevenson going to take it to the middle to Koloski on the edge. Ball knocked out of bounds. Braden Brown trying to get that rebound, but just couldn't get a handle on it. It went off of him, so it's going to be the yellow team. And Randy Taylor picked up at half court by Stevenson. Another near steal. We're going to have a timeout by the yellow team. 5.07 to go, first half. It's the red team six, the yellow team four. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis & Davis, Attorneys at Law. South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. SWGI in Unitown and Zebley Mahal of N. White, Unitown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So here's Drew Gaster to LaRose. Guarded closely there by Nathan Koloski. And Stevenson again, nice anticipation, steps right in the passing lane and knocks down the floater in the lane. So after trailing 4-2, to two, the red team able to run off six consecutive points, and they lead 8-4, 4.44 to, four, 4 to go. First half, there's Packrone. As that ball's going to be stolen away by Koloski. And again, Stevenson with the head of steam. Going to take it to the middle. Flips it to Trevin. No, no, no good. Koloski with the rebound. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson. Gets it back to Luke Brenzi. Brenzi up and good. Luke Brenzi knocking down the 12-foot jumper. His team now with a six-point lead, 10-4. to four. They're on an 8-0 run as we close in on four minutes to go here, first half. Another steal again. Koloski takes it to the left side. Up and good. Nathan Koloski, what a first half. He's got six. We're going to have a couple subs check in for the red team. Trevin Knoll checking out. Looks like Connell Stevenson going to get a little break, as well as Braden Brown. Aubrey Belzer, Leland Hall, and Michael Walker checking back in for the red team. And they lead 12-4, to 3.30 to go first half. Pack run. And we're going to get called for the walk. So the red team, as we said, on a 10-0 run right now. And their lead is eight. Koloski to Leland Hall. Steps up for the jumper. No good. Rebound there. Drew Gaster. Gaster's going to slow it down a little bit. Gets it to Randy Taylor. Taylor, top of the key, over to Reese Haskins. Back to Taylor. 
Taylor guarded closely by Leland Hall. Throws it in the corner. Pack run with the save. And Luke Brenzi's going to get called for the walk. Just shuffled his feet there a little bit. So the yellow team to take it out underneath. And now they're going to give it to him on the side. Sub coming in. Angelo LaRose checking in for Jackson Holland. Gaster gets it underneath. Packrone was kind of stuck underneath. There really had no place to go. And shuffled his feet a little bit. So now 2.15 to go first half. And the red team with a 12-4 lead. Koloski thought about a three. Gets it in the corner. Brenzi with another jumper and good. So Luke Brenzi with four. And his team now with a double-digit lead, 14-4. We're under two to go. And here's LaRose with the long pass from Taylor. And that's stolen by Leland Hall. Hall the other way, up and good. <coughs> so Leland Hall becomes the fourth red player to get into the scoring column here in this game. And his team now leads 16-4. to four. <coughs> Hall tried to make another steal there, but did it behind the half-court line. You can't do that with a 10-point lead. Okay, so Braden Brown going to check in. Koloski going to go to the bench. Gaster with the long pass. Reed Packrone tracks it down. And that ball's going to be out of bounds off of the yellow team. So one minute even to go here, first half. And the red team with a commanding 16-4 lead. And Hall pulls up for the jumper. Short rebound, Randy Taylor. Taylor, he's got numbers. Reed Packrone shot up. No good. Drew Gaster and Leland Hall fight for it. Possession arrow is going to go back to the red team. So 33.1 seconds to go here in this first half. And the red team looking to extend their lead. They're up by 12, 16 to 4. And Leland Hall going to take some time. Brenzi feeling it, just a little strong on that shot. Braden Brown with the near save, but couldn't get it back into play. So 17.3 seconds to go. And the yellow team going to try to make something happen here before this end of the first half. Taylor down to Gaster. Gaster gets it in the middle, but stolen away by Aubrey Belzer. And Belzer to Hall. Hall's going to pull up for a three. No. It's going to be poked away, and that's going to do it for the first half. So you're scored halftime. It's the red team, the number one seed, 16. The yellow team, four. And let's go over your first half numbers. For the red team, pretty balanced scoring. They were led by Nathan Koloski, who had six in that first half. Connell Stevenson had four. Luke Brenzi on two jumpers with four. And Leland Hall with two. They scored 16 in that first half. They were two for four from the foul line. For the yellow team, Randy Taylor and Angelo LaRose both had a basket for them. They did not go to the foul line in that first half. So at the end of the first half, it's 16 to four. The red team over the yellow team will be back with second half action right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver affects 30% of Americans and is a leading cause of cirrhosis and liver cancer. Risk factors for fatty liver include alcohol abuse, obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Dr. Ruthart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I specialize in the care of fatty liver. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Welcome back to the South Union Township Rec Center. Just getting ready to start the second half of play here in this second game of our doubleheader. Third and fourth grade semifinal playoff action. The winner of this game going to face the black team in the championship on Monday, December 20th. Pack run in the corner. And here's Connell Stevenson with the steal. 
Stevenson, ball fake. Back to Brenzy. Brenzy's feeling it tonight. Shot up, no good. That ball was knocked out of bounds off of the yellow team. So the red team going to put it in play. Reese Haskins going to check in for the yellow team. Going to give Reed Packer on a break. Tries to inbound the pass and stolen away there by Drew Gaster. Here comes Haskins. Picked up by Trevin Noel. Goes baseline. It's going to be stolen away. Good defense there. Here comes Trevin Noel the other way. Kicks it off his foot. Can he pick it back up? He does. Gets it over to Brenzy. And Brenzy, a little strong. Trevin Noel with the rebound tied up there by Gaster. And it's stolen away by Connell Stevenson. No good. Koloski with the offensive rebound. No good. Stevenson with the offensive rebound. No good. Connell Stevenson again to Koloski. Up. No good. And finally, Jackson Holland coming out of the pack with it. Here's Stevenson with the steal coming the other way. Up. No good. Rebound. Koloski. No good. And right now, the red team is just dominating this offensive boards. Here's Brenzy, foul line, no good. Tries to track his own rebound. Nice save there by Koloski to Brenzy. Stevenson thought about it. He's going to try to drive. Gets it to Koloski. Goes to the lane, up, short. Connell Stevenson gets a little space, no good. Trevin Noel got swatted there by Randy Taylor. And we're going to have a jump ball. So what, about five offensive rebounds there by the red team. Jackson Holland going to check out and Reed Packrone going to check back in. So with 9.51 to go, there's a timeout on the floor. It's the red team 16, the yellow team 4. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law. South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI in Uniontown and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. So as we said, the winner of this game goes to the championship game on Monday, December 20th, and we'll be here to televise that one for you. And right now it looks like the red team, they're trying to punch their ticket. They have a 12-point lead, 16-4, to and 9.40 to go here in this contest. Pass to Pack Roan. Thought about shooting it, but Haskins gets the pass. Haskins going to try to get it to Taylor, but Connell Stevenson coming the other way. Nice little jab step. Rebound there. Koloski blocked by Taylor. And Drew Gaster is going to get it to Haskins. They're going to try to run. So Stevenson's going to get called for the foul. So Stevenson with the reach. Leland Hall and Braden Brown going to check back in for this red team. Brenzy and Michael Walker checking out. As well as Trevin Knoll. That ball is going to be poked out of bounds by the yellow team. And it's coming the other way. Here comes Nathan Koloski. Going to run the point for this red team. Tries to get it to Stevenson. The pass was just a bit too high. Randy Taylor with the loose ball. Shot up. No good. Stevenson saves it. He's got numbers coming the other way. Here comes Leland Hall. Hall going to get called for the travel. Just couldn't pick that ball up. So he's going to get called for the travel. We're down to 8-10 to go here. Second half. The ball kicked. Here comes Haskins. Gets a down low to LaRose. LaRose off the bank. No good. And Stevenson now. Going to pull it back out. Smart move there by Connell. 
Waits for his offense to get back. There's Hall to Koloski. Koloski with the shot. No good. Another offensive rebound by Braden Brown. Brown up again. Blocked by Taylor. And the yellow team will have possession. Taylor with the shot up. Too strong. Packron with the rebound. Stevenson with the near steal, and they're going to say he's out of bounds. So Connell Stevenson hustling on defense, but just couldn't make that save. 7.15 to go in this contest. And again, another near steal by Koloski. It's going to be yellow ball underneath, and we're going to have a timeout. 7.07 to go here in this contest, and it's the red team 16, the yellow team 4. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's elementary semifinal playoff games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law. Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisors. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown and Zebley Bahal of and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So 7.07 to go. And the yellow team trying to cut into this 12-point deficit. There's the inbounds pass to Packron. Picked up there by Hall. And Hall makes the steal. Going to take it up. Strong. No good. Back rim. Belzer with the No, Leland Hall able to get his own rebound. Gets it over to Stevenson. Stevenson, he's wide open for the shot. Takes it and knocks it down. So Connell Stevenson with the first made basket by either team in this second half. And his team now with a 14-point lead, 18-4. Koloski nearly picked Packron. The ball's going to be out of bounds. Yellow team. Taking it out. Here comes Brenzi and Michael Walker. Koloski and Connell Stevenson going to check out for the red team. 14-point lead. Here comes Michael Walker. He's going to get it to Aubrey Belzer. Belzer going to run the point. There's Leland Hall. Hall gets in the lane, and they're going to call it travel. Just shuffled those feet a little bit as he made that ball fake. So now the yellow team. Looks like Reese Haskins might have been injured. Not exactly sure what happened. But she's being carted off the court on the sideline. Here comes LaRose. Shot up. No good. Gets his own rebound. No. Tracked down there by Leland Hall. So Leland Hall coming the other way. To Belzer, Belzer down to Brown. Brown corralled there by Gaster. We're going to have a jump ball possession arrow. Going to stay with the red team. So red to take it out. Michael Walker tries to get it into Belzer. She's able to get it. No, it's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with red. The yellow team knocked it out. So here's Michael Walker. Nice pass in there to Braden Brown. Brown tries to get it out to Brenzi. And we're going to have a backcourt. And then it is going to be a backcourt violation. Harry Kaufman with the call. He and Pat Lyon on the whistle here tonight for this second game of our doubleheader. And the red team now in command, 18 to 4, 420 to go here. Here's LaRose shot up. No good. Rebound Packrone. He's going to put it up. He's going to get fouled. So Leland Hall with the foul. And Reed Packrone headed to the line for the yellow team. He's going to have two. There's his first attempt. It's up and just off the rim. 
So Packrone with the first foul shot for the yellow team here tonight. Trevin Nell. I'm sorry, Trevin Knoll coming in. Braden Brown having a seat for the red team. So there's the shot by Packrone. No good. Rebound LaRose. No good. Packrone able to get it back with the shot. Gets it to LaRose. LaRose in the lane. No good. And rebound there. Leland Hall. Hall coming the other way. Gets through the defense. Shot up. No good. Rebound there by LaRose. Getting kicked around. So that ball is going to go back to yellow on the tie-up. So the yellow team to take it out. 3.40 to go here. 18 to 4. The red team looking like they're going to advance to the championship game against the black team. LaRose up. Good. Angelo LaRose. He's got four. And that's a first basket in the second half for his yellow team. And they trail now 18 to 6. Leland Hall, nice behind the back dribble. Works off the screen by Belzer. Going to get it to Aubrey. She thought about shooting. It's going to send it back to Hall. Hall with the shot. No good. And Randy Taylor driving the other way, and it's going to be poked away by Luke Brenzi. Good defense by Brenzi. So the yellow team taking it out out of bounds. The ball hits the bottom of the backboard, and here comes Brenzi. Brenzi going to get called for double dribbles. Just got a little too quick there. Ended up dribbling with both hands. 2.25 to go. A 12-point lead for this red team. Taylor with the shot. Foul line up. And he gets the kind iron. So now Randy Taylor with four points tonight. Angelo LaRose with four. And they trail by 10, 18 to 8. Two minutes even to go in this contest. Connell Stevenson to Brenzi. Brenzi up, no good. Stevenson able to track it down. A little floater baseline, short. Rebound there, Reed Packron. Packron gets it to Taylor. Shot up by Randy Taylor. No good. And the rebound, Braden Brown. Stolen away by Gaster. Gaster with the shot. No good. And Luke Brenzi gets the rebound for the red team. Gets it to Trevin Knoll. Trevin's going to get called for the travel. So a minute, 15 seconds to go. And the red team with a 10-point lead. Looks like Lori Sylvester. Going to take this red team to the championship game. Shot up by Packrone, no good. Scrum underneath. The possession arrow goes to the red team. 55.8 seconds to go. And it looks like Haskins is going to be okay. Not sure if she took a shot. Exactly what happened, but she looks to be okay on the bench, and that's a good thing. There's a nice pass. Trevin Knoll shot. No good. And rebound there by Michael Walker. And Walker gets it back to Connell Stevenson. Stevenson back to Trevin Knoll. Knoll gets blocked. And it's going to go out to the yellow team. 36.8 seconds to go. And the red team with a 10-point lead. LaRose near walk. Shot up in the lane, no good. Rebound, Packrone. And Reed Packrone with his first points of the night. His team now in double figures, 18 to 10. We're under 15 seconds to go. Brenzi with a shot, no good. Michael Walker with the long rebound. <clears throat> Being guarded there by Gaster. We're going to call a reach. So we're going to give it back. They're going to call a jump ball so on the possession arrow it's going to go back to the yellow team 
So the yellow team, seven seconds to go, and Connell Stevenson with the steal. He's going to take it for the layup and seal the deal. So Connell Stevenson with the made basket, and that's going to do it. So the red team with a 10-point victory, 20-10 to 10 over the yellow team. Let's go over your final numbers. The red team was led by Connell Stevenson, who had eight. Nathan Koloski had six. Luke Brenzi with four and Leland Hall with two. They scored 16 in the first and four in the second for their total of 20. They were two for four from the foul line over the whole night. For the yellow team, they were led by both Randy Taylor and Angelo LaRose, who had four each. Reed Packrome with the main basket in that second half. So your final score, it's the red team 20 and the yellow team 10. We'll be back for championship action on Monday night, December 20th, with the red team facing off against the black team. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry DuPay, and this has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.